If you grew up during the late 70s and early 80s, then this is a face you most likely recognize. But it's possible you didn't know his name was Mino Palouse. Give me a couple of minutes and I'll refresh your memory about this feller and then provide an update on what he is doing today. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi folks, my name is Dave Sundstrom and I like to think of myself as something of a pop culture historian, especially when it comes to music, movies, and television. Simply put, I love talking about this stuff. So with that said, let's get rolling. I remember Mino best in the 1982 television show Voyagers, where he was paired with John Eric Hexum, as a couple of time travelers who did their very best to help history along when it got a bit off track. I loved this show. Without a doubt, the show was just fun. Great stories, good chemistry between the two actors. You know, way back then, I thought this show was going to be really big. Truthfully, I thought the Voyagers would be one of those shows that could run for a handful of seasons. Unfortunately, the network Brainiacs at NBC decided to schedule this show against 60 Minutes, a ratings juggernaut. They call it counter-programming, and I guess it makes sense. Kids want to watch something else, right? However, when you play the counter-programming game, extreme patience is required to allow a show to build an audience. And unfortunately for fans of Voyagers, it turns out that patience was in short supply for those network executives and the show was canceled after one short season. Now this video isn't about John Eric Hexum, but I will say that it is super sad what happened to this rising star. I've made another video all about that and I'll post a link to that one at the end of this video. I'll say one final thing about John Eric before moving on. I recently listened to an interview with Mino over on the Pop Culture Retro YouTube channel, and I was struck by how Mino described his relationship with the late actor. He said that the two of them were fast pals, and throughout the conversation, he got the feeling that Mino thought of John Eric not just as a friend, but as a bit of a big brother as well. Before Voyagers, there was this TV show. Yep, the television adaptation of the hit movie, The Bad News Bears. Mino's in the front kneeling, second from the left, right next to a very young Corey Feldman. Anyone recognize this show? It was just a one-shot guest appearance, but I have to say, I absolutely loved this television program, and in particular, this episode. In it, Mino got the chance to work with two amazing actors, Bill Bixby and Mariette Hartley. I'm talking about the premiere episode of the 1978 TV season of The Incredible Hulk. This one was called Married, and it's so darn good. So darn good, in fact, that it played theatrical in some parts of the world, and Mariette Hartley won an Emmy for her work as David Banner's tragic love. All right, enough Hulk talk. Another thing that you may or may not know about Mino is that his sister is pretty darn famous as well. Do you recognize her? Maybe another photo will help. How about this one? Yep, that's Soleil Moon Fry, better known as Punky Brewster. Okay, okay, let's talk about what Mino is up to these days. Well, after high school, Mino attended UC Santa Cruz and worked as a history teacher at Hollywood High School during the 90s. You know, I absolutely love hearing things like that. It was a complete 180 from the fast-paced world of show business and a sign of things to come because Mino had other plans as well. You see, truth be told, despite all of his acting in front of a camera, Mino really enjoyed being behind the lens. And for the past couple of decades, he has been sharing his vision of the world as a professional photographer. Without a doubt, it is a far cry from the days of appearing in magazines aimed at young girls. By the way, the answers to the questions there are true, false, true, true, true. Along with establishing a career as an in-demand photographer, Mino has from time to time returned to work as both an actor and a director. In 1998, Mino co-wrote and co-directed a movie with his sister, Soleil, titled Wild Horses, which is about a group of teenagers who think they only have 24 hours to live and so they go off and try to live their life to the fullest, you know, YOLO. 
And then in 2001, Mino showed up ever so briefly on screen in a movie called Alex in Wonder. I haven't seen this film, which also goes by the more sensational name of Sex and a Girl. But I do notice that Soleil is also in this movie as well. So it may be entirely possible that Mino only moves from behind the lens these days when he has a chance to work with his sister. And truthfully, who can blame the guy? Being close to family and friends, it's what life is all about, right? You know, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about one more Mino Palouse performance that absolutely has to be mentioned. And no, I'm not talking about that one time that Mino was on Punky Brewster with his sister Soleil. Instead, I'm talking about perhaps his greatest performance. I'm talking about when Ronnie James Dio helped Mino escape from some sort of video game hell in the music video for the heavy metal classic, Last in Line. Truthfully, my friends, it really doesn't get any better than that. Mino has a pretty darn stupendous website that covers all sorts of cool things that he's been doing creatively over the years. If you're a fan, you should definitely check it out. I'd recommend clicking on that section that's titled Life with an exclamation point. If you'd like to see Mino with his lovely family, his life seems pretty darn wonderful these days. And you know what? The feller deserves it. Navigating the choppy waters of the entertainment industry and cultivating a healthy and happy life alongside it isn't always easy. So well done, Mino. Well done. All right. There's that John Eric Hexum video that I promised, along with another one that I really like. So go ahead and click on it now. I'm pretty much done here. I really only have one more thing to say, and that is thank you so much for watching this video.